tactile hair in other sense. <coughs> so this, <coughs> what is the difference between them? This thing you need to understand. There is the difference in the length of hair. If, if this is your hair of uh, skin, there is, you know, this you can divide structurally into two words. The area outside the skin, okay? The area outside the skin, this is known as what? Hair, shaft, the area under the skin, okay? The area under the skin is known as what? Hair root, hair root, the basic things. We will study this also in histological in detail. <coughs> there is some layers, you know, hair itself have three layers. Medulla, cortex and cuticle. Medulla, cortex. <coughs> we need a little better diagram. We are looking <coughs> much, much basic. If this is your hair follicles, you know, in histology always remember. Medulla is always inner side and cortex or outer side yes so medul medullary layer uh, then we have what cortex layer then we have one cuticle then then we have what cuticle so here are three three layers but point is that we are giving a lot of focus to grass anatomy we have three different kind of hairs so this gordal hairs they are actually long hairs hairs on dogs you know have dogs have long hair if you have uh, observe very Ger German shepherd. So here long hairs. This wool hair, best example is they are short. They are hair on sheep. Hair on sheep. They are known as what? Wool hair. This tactoil hair, they are, you know, they are found around some, uh, what you can say, around eyes, around nasal areas, especially in dog and cat. Especially in dog and cat, they are you know, separate, single, and you, uh, you can say little uh, erectile type hairs present on the nasal cavity around the uh, around the nasal cavity of dog and cat. So these are three different types of hair. And other important things, if you are studying hair, you must know that this this your proximal end of the hair is attached with the smooth muscle. Attached with the smooth muscle. That smooth muscle is known as what? That smooth muscle is known as what? A rector pili. Rector pili, yes. A muscle, you know, actually, you know the term in human body, goose pumps. What is goose pumps? This is have the you are this hair becomes straight. Your hair becomes straight. This is happening due to the contraction of this muscle, the action of this muscle, erector pili. And in animals, you know, this happens in dogs and other species. If there is the action of rector pili, there is a lot of hair. It may be give a little, you know, furious appearance to the animal. I give a little furious if animal in a fight and flight mood, like dog, cat. So they may use the, this muscle, and the hair will be a straightening, look like a furious animal. That's clear. So you need to understand this. The thing you need to remember, here is what? Here is the modification of epidermis. Our appendages of skin have three different kinds in different animals. In different animals. That's clear. And this classification in other sense based on the length of the hair. Based on the length of hair. This, you need to understand this thing. Okay, that's clear. The second impo important appendages of the skin is what? The second important thing is what? Skin gland. The second important thing, the derivative of skin or the appendages of skin is what? Skin glands. Can you tell me what kind of gland skin have? Please, don't behave like a human being. Yes. Anyone else? That's true. Skin have two glands. Number one is sebaceous gland. Number two is what? Sweat glands. We are taking help from this diagram to understand about the gland more. 
glands you know you have already idea about glands they are glandular epithelium modification here is a modification of epidermis if you first look on the species gland you know what this gland do no they screed what sebum the term is sebum they screed sebum or you know in other sense oily secretion in other sense is but you know what they are actually they are associated with what they are associated with hair they are associated with hair and the second important thing is that this species gland here in the skin they are holocrine gland they are holocrine gland you have this idea cell denote is life to the release is secretion okay so they are what which type of gland holocrine gland thing you need to understand this is a human beings we have holocrine gland uh, which are the species gland associated with hair secretion sacrum are all secretion they provide a you know protective layer on the skin that's true but there is the verification in different animals if you looking onto the different animal you will find some glands are mod modified species gland some glands are modified species gland and are located on the different area or the specific area of the skin this is whole skin have species gland okay some area where there is no hairs maybe they are associated species glands which which example of this glands like you know in sheep you can find in goat you can find for example a gland which is called as horn gland what well, called as horn glands is it is located between the horn of animal okay like this is the goat here you will find what you will find what horn gland you know this is the structure is what horn so they are associated here on the base they are called as horn glands there is so many examples like this we will discuss this later on when we will discuss the gland of sheep and goat but point think you need to understand the species gland in different animals they have the they have the modification they have the and may be located on the specific uh, location of the animal for example a gland in dog which is known as anal gland which is known as this is also modified skin gland this is also modified skin gland the second gland which is known as is what sweat gland sweat gland is interesting you know in when you are looking in sweat gland is what sweat gland is after two kinds one is what they are most of people sweat gland are apocrine gland they are what apocrine gland you have this idea but some people at the same time few gland uh, sweat gland are what merocrine they are they are what merocrine this idea you have already have what is apocrine merocrine and holocrine so what really happen if you look on this diagram you will find the the gland which is known as apocrine gland the gland which is known as apocrine gland may be located down in the dermis but have association with what still associated with what here but this your merocrine gland they are directly open into they are directly open into on the skin on the skin both are sweat gland both are producing sweat or producing some uh, you know watery secretion in other sense but the mechanism of secretion is little different the mechanism of the secretion is little 